We flew 2,500 kilometers to see this. Suwabi! We're here in Chiang Mai to celebrate the Floating Lantern Festival. And we're also here to show you the best of Northern Thailand. Let's, Let's go! go! Our road trip starts in Chiang Mai where we found a few interesting ways to watch the sunrise. We're going paramotoring! And one of us was lucky enough for this bougie experience. Didn't even know hot air balloon was something you could do in Thailand. The waterfall for me was probably the highlight. It was actually a double rainbow, which is pretty rare for me. We went on a short trail. It was shrouded in many trees and it was very chilly. It was really nice just taking in the weather. At the end of the trip, we arrived at the Twin Pagodas. They transferred us to a little jeep and we asked the guy which side has the best views and he said oh, the queen side. And it was really nice. And then we went on to the king side. Inside the pagoda, there are little stories written on the side of the wall. The whole experience was quite interesting. Our last activity here in Chiang Mai is the Loi Kratong Festival. It is a major event. There are a lot of Thai delicacies to eat and fun games to play. So there's one part where they release a little flower boat on the river. It's supposed to signify sending out good thoughts for the next year and letting go of negative things that may have happened this year. And the other one which was what we were actually really looking forward to was the Lantern Festival. So that's Yiping Festival. We got a lot of help with lighting the candles because I watch videos and there were people who accidentally burned <laughs> their lanterns even before we went up. So I was a bit worried about that but everyone was like really nice and calm. I mean it looks magical on videos but you never really know how it looks like in real life. Just standing there and seeing all the lanterns being released at the same time and then you look at the sky and it's a sky literally full of lanterns. It looks like little stars. So pretty! It was short but we really enjoyed the experience. My favorite road trip experience was visiting Mon Jam because I didn't expect it to be so picturesque while also not having too many tourists around but flower gardens and peaceful farms, really nice. This is easily one of the best cafes we've found in Mon Jam. There is this jungle adventure park in Mon Jam that's really cool. There's so many things here. There's like a zip line, there's like a roller coaster, and I am. Ah! Oh! oh my god! In Chiang Mai, we stayed at the Moos Hotel, which was a super convenient location for all the day trips that we did. I must say Chiang Mai was a special one for me because I'm visiting for the second time but this time all the experiences we had were so different like the white temple, they expanded the place, there's so many new things now it's quite incredible the details are still quite amazing even though I'm seeing it for the second time I must say this experience was really really cool they introduced a little bit of VR technology in it so there are QR codes next to every painting oh my god I'm not gonna spoil it for you look at the visuals it looks trippy AF but these sheep are pretty cute and I didn't expect the sheep to be just be everywhere in the cafe and we could actually pet them while we were eating which was pretty nice and our final trip out of Chiang Mai was a five and a half hour drive to Mei Hon Song. So we split it up and spent a night in Pai. We did an easy short hike in the area where there were these red sandstone cliffs with narrow pathways to explore. Most travellers come to Pai for the tipsy tubing, drink in hand, floating on a rubber float down the Pai River. So the other interesting experience that we had was in Lampun. We wanted to visit a waterfall that was in a national park. And along the way, we actually found some really interesting things. Like there was a cafe called The Lamp. You enter, you see a turquoise lake. And then there are little cabanas where you can sit and just enjoy the view. And then the boss comes and tells us that there are baby goats in the pen, which are like freaking adorable. And then we move on to a cave. And the cave was also an interesting experience. We met a monk who led us to the cave and showed us around. There were so many cool things inside the cave. The driving was actually quite enjoyable. Like, Mei Hong Song has 1,800 over loops and I was a little bit worried, especially because Jack has motion sickness. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
nice pit stop on the way to Ban Rak Thai. So looking actually just for the toilet and then we happen to see this lake where locals just hang out. The boy who loves lakes. What do you love about lakes? It's just really nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say anything! I should be what you said! There are many great experiences I'd say. But honestly, visiting Ban Rak Thai over here, I think it's worth experience because it's kind of like the culmination or the climax of a really long road trip. I honestly think it's worth all that trouble just to visit this. So we've come to the end of our road trip. It's been eight days in Northern Thailand. It was so much fun. What's the most memorable part of the trip so far for you? Everything kind of like fell together nicely. Like we met the monk who showed us the cave and <laughs> it was so unexpected. And there was a little cute dog that was following us around. So we took a little detour on the way to Jungle Coaster and we found this like random garden. And along the way, we actually found some really interesting things. All these little moments that are unplanned just happen 